welcome back so in the previous lab we have uh, provisioned the lab environment so you can see we have uh, where is it here we have uh, created this architecture and uh, coming to the task 2 now we will be creating and configuring the azure storage accounts so which is this part so let's uh, go ahead and click the storage accounts so you can see there is a storage accounts you can directly go here and you can search for the storage accounts and uh, even you can go to the resource group that you have created and from there you can create two so from here you can go so this is a resource group that we have created in the previous lab so you can click that and uh, so these are the all the resources that we have in this particular resource group so you can directly click click here and uh, type storage so you can see uh, the different services related to storage have been uh, appeared and in this case we have to click storage account and you can uh, read more about it and the relevant plans and usage and support so on however let's go ahead and create it so in this case now let's select the appropriate subscription and uh, coming to the resource group we have to select a new one so you can see according to the architecture you can see this is a different resource group which is rg1 and the previous one was rg0 uh, so i don't have uh, rg1 so let me copy that and paste that here so if i create a new one and uh, let's add that name and click ok so done and uh, the next thing would be the storage name so let's give it as a name as uh, so just given some uh, only contents lower later okay option D. so storage marty so make sure that it's a unique one if that is not then uh, obviously it will be throwing an error so coming to the region we'll be dealing with uh, like mostly east us so i'm keeping that and coming to the performance we have standard as well as premium so for this lab we'll be going ahead with uh, standard and uh, coming to redundancy we have uh, different redundancy options here so right now we'll be going with uh, geo redundant storage so basically geo redundant storage copies your data synchronously three times uh, within the single physical location uh, in the primary region using uh, lrs so that is what uh, grs is and uh, the cheapest option uh, for this storage account would be lrs so if you talk about lrs lrs uh, is local redundant storage as you can see and it replicates your data storage account three times within the single uh, data center in the primary region so that is uh, what the basic difference between these two however uh, for this lab we'll be going with the grs which is a default one that we have seen and uh, once that is done let's go to the next one which is uh, the advanced section if you click the advanced section so in this case uh, on create let's see is there any other options that we need to proceed with so we'll keep everything as a default and uh, you can see here the access tire is hot so for example the hot tire the, uh, the definition of that is an online tire optimized for storing data that accessed or modified frequently so the hot tire has the highest storage cost uh, by the lowest access cost so if we are dealing with the frequent data that uh, we usually use then we need to use the hot tire and you can see the other option is cool tire so if we talk about the cool tire so it's an online tire optimized for storage data that is infrequently accessed or modified for example if you are creating storage which uh, you don't access much but you just store the data then you has to, uh, you have to go ahead and uh, uh, with the cool tire but if you uh, frequently access it then it should be hot tire uh, however then is another uh, one which is archive tire so if you talk about it uh, even it's the online tire optimized for uh, storing data that is rarely accessed and that has flexible latency requirements on the order of hours so the data in the archive tire should be stored for minimum of 180 days so that is what the requirement uh, is mentioned here so saying that let's keep everything as the default options and let's go to the next one which is the networking so if we click the networking so in this case let's see uh, 
mostly everything is uh, the default options so everything is good to go we can just review it and uh, we can continue further and uh, the next one would be data protection so in the data protection you can review the, all the options similarly and you can go to the next one encryption tags if you want to add any tags you can do it so i've also uh, have a video related to the tags uh, you can watch it to know more about it so right now let's go ahead and create however it will be fast because of uh, there is no policy restricting it and uh, let's go ahead and create so well it takes like maybe like one to two minutes and uh, hopefully like it should be done like more fast however uh, once it's done let me go back here and go to the resource groups and uh, under uh, storage I think there should be oh we have created an app over here so it's still not there we'll wait for some time is it done yeah it's done let me refresh this one so let's go to the resource here so you can see it has been created and uh, now if we see the so we check the data management so you can see there is your replication click that so you can see the location the primary location is this one and uh, the secondary location is this one which is primary is east us and uh, the other one is west us so that is what it is and now if we go back to the settings and uh, where is it yeah. so under settings you can see a configuration click that and uh, in the replication so is yeah, replication so here let's now it's read uh, access geo redundant storage uh, RAGRS so now let's change it to LRS which is locally redundant storage click that and uh, once you do that save changes So now we have uh, done it and if you go back to the geo replication click that so previously you were saying uh, you are seeing two different locations which is east us and west us but when we changed it you can see there is only one location in which there will be three different copies so that is what uh, the main difference between uh, the grs and lrs i hope you guys have understood the concept now so now if you go again to configuration so and uh, here coming to so here it's hot the blob uh, storage tire that we have created so now let's keep it to the coal I mean coal mm -hmm. so it's done so basically the cool is nothing but has a schedule it's infrequent taxes so just to save our cost so yeah that's it for now i hope you guys have understood the concept of storage account and lrs and grs like what's the difference between these two and in the next video we'll be talking about manage uh, blob storage and if you like the video please click the link below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thank you